10 pounds gone just like that. Are you feeling flabby and frustrated? Want to ditch those extra pounds that cling to you like a swimming suit in the hurricane? Well, buckle up because in today's video I'm breaking down six steps to slay 10 pounds away and finally achieving your weight loss goals. And make sure that you're staying until the end because the sixth step, I'm sure it's something that you haven't heard about yet. Sweet dreams for the weight loss. But don't worry, you're not dreaming. This stuff is for real. But let me ask you the question first before we go into the main subject. How does your sleeping routine look like? Is it this? When you go to bed and you're just playing on the phone, playing Candy Crush or just watching the social media and then you look at the watch and you're just like, oh my God, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. I need to wake up at 6 a.m. I'll be tired again. Oh man. It looks like this. You go to the bed, you set up the alarm clock, put the flight mode on and you just go sleep. If it's the first one, then I can guarantee you that losing the last 10 pounds will be very difficult because we need quality sleep and enough of the sleep. Because if we don't have enough hours, then our body will produce the hormone called ghrelin, which is a hunger hormone. So the next day you will be craving the food. And of course, it won't be the healthy food, but it will be high in calories, in fat, in salt, and you'll be just like over consuming the calories and the weight won't move. <coughs> However, if it's the second one, yeah, then your body will have enough time to sleep, quality of the sleep, and then your cravings will be at bay. And then you'll be like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not bothered about that food. And it's been proven that majority of the people need seven hours of the sleep. But I understand that if you're sleeping right now five hours, it's difficult to go to seven hours. So what you need to do is just go sleep five minutes earlier each night. So those small increments will add up very quickly to those two hours and you will be hitting the seven hours without any problem. So the next time you're going into the bed, stop playing on the phone. Just set up your alarm clock, put the flight out on and then hit the pillow for the quality sleep. Portion control is a key, because even if you eat healthy, it doesn't matter, it's still got the calories. So when you overeat, you simply put the weight on, but you want to lose the weight, so you have to consume less calories. And how to do that? Well, master the art of the smaller plates. Because for example, let's take this one. This is a very big plate. And if you put the foot on it, it will look, well, kind of small and you'll be like thinking ah that's not enough i need to put more food on the plate and you will stop hiding the food around it however if you move your food into the smaller plate well there is less space to put extra food and if you use a really small plate you'll be like holy shit we've got so much to eat so definitely use the smaller plates when you're trying to lose your weight. And I get you, you might be thinking, that's all good, Max, we are at the home, I can use, I can choose which plates I want to use. However, what do I do if I go to the restaurant with my friends? Well, simply, you go to the waiter, you ask for the box and you just say, look, can you put half of my food on my plate and the rest in the box? Or for example, if you're having the salad, just ask for the dressing to be on the side and then you will decide how much dressing you want to consume. And that way you control how many calories you're eating and then if you're losing the weight or you're putting on. Strength is your friend. Building muscles is not only for the bodybuilders who compete, but building muscles will help you to increase your metabolism even when you rest. How cool is that? you're burning the calories even when you're resting which will help you to lose the weight but that's not it because when you're building muscles your body physique is changing so you won't finish someone who's called skinny fat and you might be like okay max that's all great it's all fine but what exercises should i do ha 
I'm glad you asked because as always I've got you covered. If you send me direct message then I will create for you a perfect plan that will help you to not only lose weight but also build a lean physique. However on the beginning you can just start with the simple exercises that will target more muscle groups that's why they call compound movement and these are like squats deadlifts push-ups lunges and pull-ups and if you perform three to four sessions per week this will help you to lose your weight breakfast is a king never skip the breakfast because you might be thinking oh you know what i'll just skip the breakfast i'll save the calories and that will help me to lose weight now it's actually can hinder your weight loss so never skip the breakfast and here are a few reasons behind that so the first reason is that your appetite will increase later on so basically your hunger hormones will increase when you skip the breakfast and then you will simply overeat during the lunchtime or the dinner so you're actually not really saving any calories it will just lead to overeating another reason is blood sugar roller coaster so breakfast helps you to regulate blood sugar levels however if you skip this then it will lead to the crash you will have no energy and then you will be craving the foods and of course the sugary foods it won't be the healthy foods and simply these are high in calories and then you will quickly over it and your weight loss will go out of the window. And the third reason is muscle loss. Remember, we talked earlier on about building the muscles so it will help you to speed up your metabolism. However, if you skip eating the breakfast, then your body may start breaking the muscles for the energy. And then if you don't have the muscles, obviously your metabolism is slowing down, you're not burning the calories, and again, you're not losing the weight. Increased need, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And I know it sounds like the quantum physics, but believe me, it's not. Basically, the need refers to the calories that your body burns throughout the day on the activities that are not exercises. So the things like walking, playing with your pet, cleaning the house, gardening. And these are so cool because they don't need really extra time commitment because let's say for example with the exercises you have to think and plan them and you'll be like oh man i need to spend like 30 minutes every day to do the exercises but with those other things you don't have to plan especially for them and then another thing is like for example when you're thinking about the weight loss you're just thinking okay I'll be eating healthy and then I will be exercising a lot. And those things, yeah, they're simple but not easy to do. However, need is simple and easy to do because you just slowly increase those activities and the weight loss will come much quicker. Yay! Focus on the gut health. This is not very popular. However, it's having a bigger and bigger impact when it comes to the weight loss. And why? Well, here are just a few reasons. Impacting nutrients absorption. We've got trillion bacteria in our gut that will decide how our body absorbs the nutrients from the food. If we have a balanced gut microbiome, then this will help with the digestion and the nutrients absorption, and this will lead to feeling satiated and consuming less calories. Influencing metabolism. Some bacteria are better with extracting energy from the food, while others regulate how our body will store fat. So having a balance of these microbes will lead to the quicker metabolism and eventually burning more calories throughout the day. And regulating hormones. So our gut produces the hormones that will communicate with our brain to regulate appetite or satiety. And if we have a healthy gut microbiome, then this will help with the levels of these hormones, which will lead to less cravings and feeling more satiated for the longer period. Alright my friends, 
These are the six steps that will help you to smash your weight loss goals. And remember, the consistency is the key. And if you've got some setbacks, don't get discouraged. Everyone's got them. So just pick yourself up and then keep moving forward. And if you are looking for the more health and wellness tips, then hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, then smash that like button and share this video with your friends who might be on the same journey. But right now, peace out.